Hello everyone. If you are a fan of Windows 7 or simply need Windows 7 to run some old programs and are trying to figure out how to install or reinstall it on your PC, you've come to the right place. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 7 on a Windows 10 PC for a dual boot configuration. If you want to install Windows 7 as the only operating system, you can still follow this tutorial as the installation steps are basically the same. All right, let's get started. First, please take note that, if you're installing Windows 7 on a modern EFI-based PC, make sure that your PC's EFI has compatibility support module or CSM, and that the CSM is enabled. Otherwise, you may get this error and are not able to install Win 7 on your PC. Secondly, you will need to get a Windows 7 bootable media or installer, which can be a Windows 7 DVD or a bootable USB flash drive. If your PC has a relatively new motherboard, you may get this error later during the initial stage of the installation. The reason for this error is because Windows 7 installer is packed with an old driver called EHCI. Thankfully, Gigabyte developed a utility to package a new driver called XHCI with the Win 7 installer to fix this error. To add this new driver to your Win 7 installer, go to your current Windows PC and download this utility by clicking the link on this video's description. Once you've downloaded this utility, Extract it to your preferred location. Then insert your Win 7 bootable USB flash drive and wait until it's detected by Windows. Open the extracted folder and double-click Windows Image Tool application. On the Gigabyte Windows Image Tool window, select your Win 7 bootable USB flash drive as the destination path. And then tick the Add NVMe drivers to an offline Windows 7 image option, which will also automatically tick the Add Packages option below it. Click Start and Windows Image Tool will begin adding the XHCI driver to your Win 7 USB installer. The process may take about 15 to 30 minutes, so please be patient. Once it's finished, you can close the application. And then the last thing to note before you install Windows 7, if you want to dual boot Windows 7 with your current Windows 10, you will have to prepare a partition for your Win 7. If your PC has only one hard drive, you will need to create a Win 7 partition on that hard drive first. But if your PC has more than one hard drive, you may either use one of them solely for Win 7 or create a dedicated partition for Win 7 on your Win 10 drive. But if Windows 7 will be the only operating system, you can skip this step. To create a partition on your Windows 10 PC, right-click the Start Menu button and then click Disk Management. On Disk Management, select the drive partition you want to split. If you have only one basic data partition, which in that case should be drive C only, you will need to shrink that drive first by the size of the Win 7 partition you want to create. But if you have more than one partitions, like in my case here, you will need to shrink the drive you want to split to the size of the Win 7 partition you want to create. And please take note that a drive can only be shrunk by no more than its free space. So make sure that, if needed, you free up sufficient space on that drive before shrinking it. For example, here I'm going to split my D drive into two partitions, one for Win 7 while the other for my data. So to shrink a drive partition, right-click that drive and then click Shrink Volume. On the Shrink Volume dialog, enter the amount of space to shrink. In my case, I'm going to shrink my D drive to 120 GB. So I enter a shrink size such that the total size after shrink is 120 GB or 122,880 MB, and then click Shrink. Now as you can see here, my D drive is shrunk to 120 GB, and I have 225 GB unallocated space to its right side. Then I will create a new data partition from this unallocated space by right-clicking on it and then click New Simple Volume. Follow the instructions on the wizard to create a new partition. Once it's done, if you are splitting a data partition like in my case here, move all the files from the original data partition to the new one. After that, we should have a dedicated partition for Win 7. In my case, my old data or D drive will become a Win 7 volume. While if you split your Windows or C drive, the new partition will be the Win 7 volume. Alright, now we are ready to install Windows 7. So insert your Win 7 bootable USB flash drive and then restart that PC. When the PC brand logo screen appears, quickly press the boot menu key on the keyboard. For my Asus laptop, I have to press Escape key. For other PC brands, you may try pressing F2 or F8. 
On the boot menu, select the Win 7 installation media, and then press enter to boot your PC from that drive. Select your language, time and currency formats, and keyboard layout, and then click next. Click install now to continue. Click I accept the license terms, and then click next. On the installation type dialog, click custom or advanced. On the dry partition list dialog, select the dry partition where you want to install Windows 7 on. For my case here, I will select partition 5, or the data drive that I split using disk management on Windows 10 just now in the early part of this tutorial. For your case, if you follow my tutorial from the beginning and also want to dual boot your system, make sure you select the correct drive partition. For a clean and fresh Windows installation, click Drive Options, and then click Format to wipe out all the files on that partition. Click Next to start the Windows 7 installation, which may take about 15 to 30 minutes. During this process, your PC may restart automatically a few times. If you dual boot your system, Windows Boot Manager will be shown during restart, and Windows 7 will be selected by default. Once the installation is done, follow the on-screen instructions to create a local account and configure your Windows 7. When you're prompted to enter a product key, if you do not have a product key yet, clear the automatically activate Windows checkbox and then click skip. So here it is, your Windows 7 is up and running. Now make sure you install all the required device drivers so that your Windows 7 PC is fully functional. If you have any missing device driver, you may refer to my other video on how to install missing Windows device drivers. And then if you dual boot your Windows 7 with Windows 10, open the file explorer and then click computer. You will see that when you're on Windows 7, your Windows 10 volume will be assigned a drive letter other than C, as in my case a D drive. Your C drive will be your Windows 7 volume. And now if you restart your PC, on the Windows Boot Manager screen, you can select whether you want to boot your PC to Windows 7 or Windows 10 by pressing the up or down arrow key on the keyboard and then press enter. So here it is my Windows 10. Everything is still intact just like before the Windows 7 installation. Alright, so that's how easy it is to install Windows 7 on a Windows 10 PC for dual boot configuration. I hope you find this tutorial useful, and if you do please click like and share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.